What's up, y'all? It's John the Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish viral video classic. Before we get started, I gotta remind you about my comedy club, The Laugh House, is coming back in less than a month. On September 1st, we'll be in Uppsala. September 2nd, we'll be back in Stockholm for the premiere weekend of my comedy club that's gonna have a blowout fall season like never before. We're bringing comedians from all over the world to make you laugh. Check out the lineup, pick some shows. You get a discount by using the discount code REACT, R-E-A-C-T. So use that code, get your tickets. Early bird tickets are out right now as well. If you're in the Stockholm area or Uppsala area or any of the shows, later in the season. I'm really excited, as you can probably tell. I hope to see you there, and make sure to say hello if you come to a show. And now it's time for today's reaction. Today I'll be reacting to a video that's called Losser Turken, another video in the Turken series, <laughs> as I like to call it. <laughs> it's so like uh, funny and then problematic, but still funny <laughs> that y'all call these Turken. <laughs> this video was uploaded to YouTube 12 years ago and it has 4.8 million views. <laughs> wow. It's one minute and 58 seconds long. And as I said, it's another part of the Turkin series. And it was suggested by a viewer that goes by Tabakshi. And according to Tabakshi, Norwegian Channel 2 is interviewing a guy in a Rosengård named Fadi, who's on the hunt for someone named Denia Lassermannen. Of course, I'm familiar with Lawson Manen. So he's getting, this, he's getting interviewed, and apparently he's telling the interviewer what he'll do to the guy when he finds him. Whew! <laughs> this sounds like an American news story type of thing. <laughs> when I think of some of these popular American viral videos, I think y'all missed that opportunity of a man on the street type of thing with the news where you get the witness, eyewitness accounts and whatnot. Those can be funny. You got Sweet Brown, the, the Bedroom Intruder, that's out on a newscast, the Back It Up Lady. So many of these videos have come from just talking to somebody on the street. Maybe we do it more in America and we like to be on TV. So <laughs> we kind of spice it up when we get on there. So maybe I should do a little bit more, I don't know. If you do, maybe I just don't see it enough, I don't know. I'm looking forward to this one. I appreciate the suggestion, so let's do it. Vi er i Rosengård, bydelen i Malmö som kallas Nordens tøffeste ghetto. Det går rykter om at bevepnede gjenger nå jakter på personen som har fått tilnavnet den nye lasermann. Etter bare noen minutter treffer TV2 noen av jegerne. Vi har lett etter han fire-fem dager til nå, jeg har ikke sovet. Over 90 prosent av beboerne i Rosengård er innvandrere. I nesten alle tilfeller har den ukjente skytteren hatt innvandrere som mål. Problemet er hvis de mest ekstreme får tak i ham først. Jeg skal klippe hans tung, klippe øren, jeg skal gjøre kaos med ham. Jeg skal gjøre kaos med ham. Sen efter det, jeg skal gjøre ham til, til polisen uten hovedet, du vet. Flere sier også til TV2 at de har våpen, men at de ikke vil vise dem fram. Kolla, kolla, jeg har fullt bobilen i greier. Jeg vil ikke, nå skal jeg si noe, men jeg har fullt i greier. Og jeg skal ta han. Antipolisen skal ta han. Jeg skal ta han. Jeg står om polisen. Det er gjenger som dette som bekymrer politiet i Malmø nå. At de skal få tak i skytteren først. Eller kanskje bare en de tror er skytteren. En person som befinner seg i Sverige får anvende seg av rettegångsbalkens regler som sier at man får gripe folk som gjør seg skyldige til brott. Men da skal det være når man gjør seg skyldig til brott. At kjøre omkring og lete opp noen man tror har gjort brott, det er absolutt forbudet, og det er i høyeste grad ulempelig. Vi skal ta han, og ta hans familj, og ta hans efternamn, hvem efternamn, samme efternamn til han, alle. På en gång de ska dö. <laughs> Och vi tar på laten och ni ser han dö. Garantit. Ja, de är ute efter maten man är nu. Wow. <laughs> wow, okej. Okay. Fadi found his passion in life and went for it, man. <laughs> He meant that shit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there was no actual Nia Lhasa Uh Or he saw that reporter and was like, you know what? I'm done, man. 
You're not cutting my tongue in my ears and killing everybody with my last name. My last name is Spensum. <laughs> What are you gonna do, Fondy, if the guy has a very common last name? He's like, shit, man. I gotta kill every Anderson. <laughs> so it's obviously a person that's impassioned at the time and has been irrational. But it's hilarious, man. And that he said it on the news. I thought he was about to display for the news all of the weapons he had in the back. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. And they took him seriously, too, man. They're just standing there like, oh, okay. All right, okay. You gonna cut his tongue off? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the police are like, listen, man, y'all can't do that uh, until they commit a crime and all of that. That was a good one, man. A a another classic viral video, man. The Turkana are really delivering for us, man. <laughs> Each one I've seen has been good. <laughs> Thanks for that suggestion. Tabakshi, good looking out. And everybody who liked it that made me uh, want to add it to the list, thank you. If you got suggestions for me, leave them down in the comments. I'll be checking through those. And if you see some suggestions you think are a good idea, leave a like on it. Because the more likes, the more likely I am to add it to the ever-growing list. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications, and all that jazz. And most importantly, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden, reacting to classic Swedish viral videos and music. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.